Hello, hello, I'm Jennifer Nascimento with English Outside the Box and you're watching 5 Minute English. As a reminder, 5 Minute English is my online video series helping you, an English learner, learn English in only 5 minutes. These short lessons are perfect for you on the go and will give you important information in a short amount of time. This is the season of shopping. So today we're gonna to be covering some shopping expressions and phrasal verbs. First, I'm gonna say some sentences naturally in context using the words we're going to hear in this video. You can see the transcript of what I say, definitions and more sentence examples, of course, on the full blog lesson for this video, which is found on englishoutsidethebox.com slash blog. This month, you're doing a lot of shopping, but probably not for retail therapy. You're looking for presents and gifts for the holidays. You are looking for places that are slashing their prices and giving killer deals. You often have to shop around and pop into many different stores to find the perfect thing that catches your eye. Something that stands out as the perfect gift for your friend or loved one. Hopefully that perfect gift isn't a ripoff or the store isn't trying to rip you off. However, it's the holidays, so you often have to shell out a lot of cash or a lot of money for you to buy those perfect gifts. People will try to help you out. Sales clerks will help you out because many stores give commission. Hopefully that perfect item isn't sold out or that store doesn't sell out of the item. All right. So you heard all of those words naturally used in context. Now in a different order, I'm going to repeat what those words are and give the definitions. First we have to help out. To help out is a phrasal verb and it's when someone, like a store assistant, gives you guidance or help with a product. They'll help you find an item, a size, or look for a different product in a different store. Next we have to sell out. We can use this as a verb, the store sold out of an item, which means that they no longer have the item. It's no longer in stock. It's gone. Next we have to pop in or pop into. This is to go in quickly. I use this in the same sentence as shop around. Shop around means to look for something in many different places. So when you pop into a store, you go into a store quickly because you're having a look to see if it has the item you need. You're shopping around, going to different stores because you're looking for the item, possibly at the best price, pop in, go into somewhere quickly, shop around, go to many different places. Next I said shell out. Shell out means to spend money. However, it's often used when talking about spending a large amount of money. Next, I used to rip off or a rip off. Rip off as a verb is when someone or a store sells a product for much more than it should be. It's too expensive for what the value is. So a rip off as a noun is a product that is sold for too much money. That's more expensive than it should be. Next I use the expression to catch your eye. To catch your eye means to grab your attention. So if something catches your eye, you like it. It gets your attention and you wanna look at it or perhaps buy it. To slash prices means to cut prices or to decrease the price of something. Stores often slash prices when they have things on sale or when things are at a promotional price. Next we have retail therapy. Retail therapy is often used in a jokingly way to say that you go shopping for therapy. Retail is related to the things that you buy, so retail therapy is buying things to make you feel better as therapy. Finally, I said you're looking for killer deals. A killer deal is something that has a great price, usually because it's on sale and has a really good discounted price. Alrighty, so I know I spoke very quickly in this video because I wanted to give as many expressions as I could. There are two ways that you can review this vocabulary. You can first listen and hear how I use them naturally in context with my sentence and paragraph example, and next you can look at the additional examples and definitions found on the blog. The blog also has some practice exercises for you to review this vocabulary and make sure you understand them, as well as different ways that you can remember them for future use. So you can head to the blog now, 
englishoutsidethebox.com slash blog to review that full lesson. The full link for this blog is also in the description of this YouTube video below. Finally, I would love to have you continue learning with me. If you want to continue learning with me, Jennifer, and English Outside the Box, then I recommend you subscribe to this channel to not miss out on future YouTube videos. You can also sign up to be on my newsletter. If you're on my newsletter, you instantly get English resources, like weekly lessons that are delivered to your inbox. So you'll be learning lots of information with me all week long. If you'd like to sign up, you can visit this link here. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and you enjoy other lessons with me in 5-Minute English. And until next week, happy studying. Don't forget to subscribe. You can subscribe to this channel to not miss out on future videos or check out more 5-Minute English video lessons.